Hey what's up everybody, my name is Trufin at the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to God of War. I know I promised in the last episode that today we would be doing uh, the rest of the Muspelheim challenges, but uh, well, let's say I tried. What? Why does that hit me even? What? And failed horribly. Um, so yeah, I think my gear is just not up to uh, the task just yet, so I'm gonna keep that for a later episode and we'll return back to Muspelheim. But in the meantime, I did explore the lake a bit further and found a few uh, things we left behind. We killed a uh, frost giant, and there it goes. Frost giant in the face. A frost, yeah, whatever the fuck this thing is. A frost storm. Frost Ogre, keep, uh, yep, I think we got him indeed. We uh, cleaned up a few of the realm tears that were left behind, so we got our revenge on the uh, Hellwalkers. The Wolvers. And the two witches in this very room. And uh, yeah, I think it's high time we just move on with the main quest because uh, I feel like either it's almost wrapping up or uh, there's still a lot to do. I don't, I don't really know. I mean, this, this game can still surprise me. Um, this room specifically, I know the left one we can't read because it's Niflheim runes, but if I'm getting better at, well, separating the two, I think the Niflheim runes are more curved, like these ones. And this is Muspelheim runes, if I'm not mistaken. So if you read that... Can you read it? Yes, sir. Yes, indeed. I'm correct that he can actually can read, read it. Now. It says the Gauntlet of Surater is in Muspelheim. Is that what those challenges are called? Ah, probably. Yeah, the Gauntlet of Surter is Surter, of course, being the, uh, the fire giant of Muspelheim. Uh, another thing, of course, because we traveled from one place to the other uh, a lot in the previous... Uh, well... Not episode, because this is it's not really an episode, but recording. I am um, just going to show you all the lore bits we got from Mimir uh, right now. Look, I've seen those blades of yours before. They were under the house when I was hiding. Is that why you never let me down there? Where did they come from? They are my burden from a life that is behind me. Well, they're in my life too now. And I'd like to hear that story. Those days are dead. To relive them is needless. How can it be needless if it's the truth? One day you will understand. One day you will understand. Yeah. We really need to. That's not a Mimir tale, by the way. That's a, that's an, a Kratos tale. Why is Odin so desperate to find a way into Jotunheim anyway? He's convinced the giants hold the key to changing his fate when Ragnarok comes. They are the Aesir's oldest enemies, after all. And it's their army that's supposed to do him in in the end. But more than that, he covets their gifts of prophecy. He wants to know what they know and see what they see. So much suffering could have been avoided if his insatiable curiosity was not so much stronger than his wisdom. What do you mean? Ah, remind me to tell you why they call him the Lord of the Hanged. Namir, why did you say Tyr felt responsible for what Odin did to the giants? There was an incident shortly after the forging of Mjolnir, when Tyr arranged a diplomatic meeting between Odin and the giant kings. Well, this was when the Long War was young, when victory was still a thing dreamed of and the Jotnar might have tipped the balance between Aesir and Vanir. Odin had persuaded Tyr that the hammer was merely a deterrent, a means to broker peace from a position of strength. Tyr was hopeful to convince all parties they would prosper best through peace. He knew the giants were deeply concerned about the hammer, a super weapon in hands they did not trust, but they trusted Tyr. Tyr always believed the best in people, and taking Odin at his word and his desire for peace, he brought the Raven King to Jotunheim. Uh, from there, things unraveled quickly. The giants anticipated Odin's trickery and exposed his true agenda to spy and steal their secret wisdom. With magics, they expelled Odin from their realm and cursed him never to return. Frustrated, Odin visited his fury upon the giants of Midgard. Thor unleashed Mjolnir's might upon any giant he could find. None could stand against the tide of slaughter that followed. And at last, it seems, with Tyr's aid, they retreated. 
The tower disappeared. No giants could be found in Midgard. And no man nor god has set foot in Jotunheim since. So that actually kind of makes sense. So we saw a few giants killed, but not too many, which means that, yeah, they just killed the giants that were still left in Midgard after Jotunheim was shut down. But that was all they could find. It was a slaughter still, but that's pretty much it. I can't believe no one has found the Jotunheim Tower after so many years. Where would you hide something that big? This is where the tower to Jotunheim should be. Feels strange somehow. No doubt some arcane magics were involved. I would be not at all surprised to learn you are sensitive to that. Here's something I can't figure out. Odin wants to prevent Ragnar. But the serpent's already been there and seen it. So hasn't he already failed? It's a tricky thing, lad. And Odin's just arrogant enough to think he can get the best of it. Fate is another lie told by the gods. Nothing is written that cannot be unwritten. On that, brother, you and the old father may just agree. Even if he can't prevent Ragnarok, he still hopes to learn enough details to influence the outcome. Remind me later to tell you about the wolves. You're familiar with the tale of Skoll and Hoti, bringers of day and night. Oh yeah, the wolf giants. Aye. They were born of the archwolf Hrothgudnir, a great nemesis of the Aesir gods. Odin captured them as pups and kept them in the kennels of Asgard to hold his foe at bay. But when the sun and moon grew mutinous and stood still, Odin put Skoll and Hoti to use. With his ancient magics, he cast the wolves to the heavens, and they began their chase. And long shall they chase, but not endlessly. For it is foretold that someday Skoll and Hoti will catch and devour their prey. And that day shall be Ragnarok, the twilight of the gods. But Ragnarok is supposed to be Odin's doom, isn't it? Why would he set the wolves loose if it fulfills the prophecy? Precisely the question, lad. It's always about control. The wolves determine when Ragnarok begins, and now he controls the wolves. A battle fought on his timetable is a battle he better stands to win. So the story, I feel like the story is going towards... Um, well, we're getting a lot of information about uh, a few things. So we have Ragnarok in... Uh, on the one hand, so the end of times for the gods of uh, Norse mythology, so the Aesir. Well, they're defined by two things. So we have the two wolves that uh, Odin set loose oh. himself to have a bit of control about when Ragnarok is set to happen. And then, of course, the giants who survived the massacre of Thor. Because uh, now we know that uh, well, Thor and Odin kind of wanted to kill off the entire giant race. When they, uh, well, they tricked Tyr, the god of war of uh, Norse mythology, uh, into just bringing them to the giants. But of course the giants saw Mjolnir, started panicking and shut them off completely from getting ever back to uh, Jotunheim. Which is exactly where we're going right now. So I'm guessing we'll uh, get a bit more information over there. So, let's carry on. Why should we hide where we are? Secrets are Odin's way. Shouldn't we be open? Like Tyr? Tyr kept secrets too, for good reasons. To protect people. It is wiser to be discreet. That doesn't mean you should lie to your friends. Or your family. I'm sure Sindri would understand and do the same, lad. Don't fret. So yeah, now that Atreus knows he's a gold, he wants to tell everybody, of course, so especially uh, Sindri, which we're about to see. That takes so, lad, a bit longer. to finally see the land of the giants? Yeah. But also sad the journey's almost over. Oh, you and me both, boy. And there aren't any giants there either. Makes little difference to us. Fulfilling your mother's wish is what is important. Ah! Oh, don't go anywhere. Be with you in two shakes. Father, can I tell him? No, you can't. Tell me what. Did you put this wheel in your mouth? <laughs> oh, God. I'll vomit. I I'm not kidding. I'll throw up on it. Ah, awesome. A family matter. Oh. oh, I can tell you a thing or two about family matters. Oh. Yeah, that's also oh. still a, a problem. Your brother isn't as talented as you, and his work is junk. Um, those things are accurate. Your point? It's all you ever talk about, over and over. 
do something about it or shut up or it. I see. Yeah. Okay. We're sick of hearing about little people's little problems. Uh, Andreas, calm down. What okay. the hell is going on? All right. That hurt a little. What's with the weather? Why Let's is nobody acknowledging the weather? Atreus really needs to calm down. What the hell is going on? Is that Atreus doing that? Or is that just something else? Hello, Sindri. Wanna have a little chat? Seems like we can only check out the gear. Might as well do that. Uh, I feel like somebody, something is getting closer. Yeah, there we go. Oh, wow. There's a lot of stuff around here. So the wolf who saw me. Okay, hi. I don't like wolves. Watch your back! Jesus, what the hell's going on? And the weather is going apeshit. There we go. Over in the face. Let's get this movie down. Sorry, Sindri. Okay, and the music's going as well. That's the end of you. So she thought that was gonna stop us. Um, okay. Kratos, are you gonna say something to your son? Cause he's acting like a dipshit right now. Ooh, stuff. Um, there we go. Hack silver and some soft heart of time steel. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um. Is there anything else I've missed here? I don't think so, but let me just do a quick scour of the area. Why did you speak to the dwarf like that? Aren't you sick of hearing about him and his brother? Of course, but it serves nothing to make an enemy of him. He should know the truth, even if it hurts. It was needless and unkind. Truth is more important than kindness. Your mother would disagree. She wasn't a god. Okay, this is becoming a real problem. Um, so, let's pull that back, and then freeze that, and then I can use the swords for that. Aha! Ooh, this is getting complicated. Um, first, let's get the axe back, freeze this thing, go over to the swords, and grab the Hells of Wind. No, the Winds of Hell, not the Hells of Windhun. And then over there, and then from there into the little gate here. I see we've uh, have some hell walkers to, be, to contend with. Okay. There we go. Let's kill this guy first. And then this one. Ooh, I'm getting really annoyed at how Atreus is acting right now. Why don't you let me carry her up from here? No. Why not? We're almost there. You know I can handle it. Can you? After the way you spoke of her, I questioned that. What? That she wasn't a god? She was better than a god. And you shall not dishonor her. Fine. Carry her yourself. Okay, Blast of Hephaestus, by the way. A quick fiery blast of energy then inflicts a small amount of burn damage. But I think I'm good with what we have right now. It's just kind of a shockwave thing. We can do that with other weapons, so... Might as well keep the high damage stuff around. So I know there's a Valkyrie hidden on the right, but I might as well just move on. I'm actually wondering, can I just use the elevator? 
because that might be a bit quicker than what I'm currently using as a route. So yeah, the elevator is down, should have probably seen that sooner. Um, and I still don't know how to actually get rid of the fog in here. Aha! If I go to Sindri's uh, shop, I can actually freeze that. Should have probably done that a long time ago, probably won't be uh, much of use in that chest, but uh, just for completionist's sake, let's open that up. And there we go, some soft steel, that's pretty much it. Okay, and there we have another uh, bramble chest. There we go, opening that up. <clears throat> and there we have the sigil of the weapon. Increase the rate of permafrost emulation gain by 7%. Not that bad, actually. Might even uh, equip that. There we go, equipped it should be fine so let's just uh head up another interesting thing about uh the gods in uh, norse mythology is that it's a stark contrast to greek mythology because uh the greek god of war is really a, a warmonger he thrives off of war um well just as much as kratos actually does but uh yeah the norse mythology god of war is actually one who strives for peace tries to Fix conflicts with okay, hi. With uh, just talking to each other, trying to fix stuff that way. There we go. And there we go. Oh, shouldn't have blocked that. There we go. Boom! go let's just wipe them all away just just get out of the way of all that and there we go Whew. that was uh, quite a bit of enemies but of course all low level enemies so that's Always doable as long as we Amir, get uh, if you knew all along the blades. That we were gone, why come up with the story about Odin trying to follow us to Yodna before we get there? Isn't it a lot simpler if they want us dead because we're gods? And they think we're a threat? I suppose we can't rule it out. But Odin's ways are subtle and his purposes no. are enough about Odin and his whole stupid family. Um Atreus, just let Mimir talk. He's always providing useful information. Okay, so. Oh. Uh, that's more for us. There we go. Open that up. Just uh, clearing out the final chests. Hard and Svartalfheim steel. That's gonna come in handy to upgrade the bow, I think. And um, okay. There we go. Anything else I've missed? I don't think so, no. Those are normal branches. Not uh hell branches for some reason. <laughs> this game is weird sometimes. Now I'm wondering how many other chests we've missed. Because we're still looking for one Niflheim cipher. I didn't find that in my second round around the uh the lake. Which is weird. Would have suspected. Find okay. Finding that. I suppose that's Odin's doing too. Nice try. Nice try indeed, but 
I mean, he did stop us. My always said all gods were evil. But we're not. Tita wasn't. Freya neither. The Acer gods, that's who's evil. And you know what? Odin's right. We are a threat. Because we know what they are and we know we can beat them. Well, not all of them. Not yet. Magni did his worst. And he's dead. They're no better than us. And they're going to be sorry they picked this fight. The question is, if they know we're a threat, why did they even pick this fight? Why not? Because Kratos wasn't doing anything wrong before Baldur knocked on the door. They might be just plain stupid, of course, but I feel like that's not the case. There might be something else that we just don't know about yet. It's still dark in this place. Do we need to do this entire section again? Because I feel like they're going to change things up a bit. Because the elevator is even broken. Oh, gold. Hello, traveler. I can see him over there. Or not. No, that's oh, Modi. Blame me. Me. For what you did to Magni. My own father called me a coward. Looks like he did more than that. Move it. Or we'll pick up where he left off. I'll kill you. Oh, Modi, you're an idiot. Yeah, I think he's gonna die out of his own accord. No. He is beaten. Not worth killing. He should pay for what he said about Mother. I said no. But we're gods. We can do whatever we want. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said to your mother right before. Oh, I gold. Her. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. What are you doing? This is a much better knife than mother's. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Goodbye, Modi. Against my wishes. You lost control. Haven't you been teaching me to kill? I have been teaching you to survive. We are gods, boy. And that makes us a target. From now until the end of days, you are marked. So I teach you to kill, yes. But in defense of yourself. Never as an indulgence. Nobody cared about him anyways. What's the difference? There are consequences to killing a god! Why? How do you know? Because he How killed an entire know? pantheon. Watch your tone, boy. Whatever. Just tell him what you did, Kratos. You're gonna have to eventually. So, that's another one down. We didn't even have to do anything. So Atreus went that way for some reason. Because if I recall correctly, this is a dead end, isn't it? Okay. There we go. And grab that. Ah, we can open this up now. Whatever. Fair enough. Fair enough. We didn't have that before. Uh, we did read that. Okay, goodbye, Castle War. Namir set from behind, but apparently nothing happened. Keep your wits about you, boy. If Modi found us, Baldur cannot be far. Good. I have a few words for him, too. No, you do not. You will leave him to me. So you can kill him. Because that's what we do to our enemies, right? Because he'd do the same to us. I will do only what is necessary. And I'll help. No. Hmm. So, I know we've been here. There must be nothing left for us to find here, because the game doesn't want us to come here, even. So let's just keep going. 
There's a few other things in the story that are left unanswered for now. So we have the green arrow on Atreus' uh, chest is something that Freya really freaked out about. But that was never addressed. And then of course in Tears Vault we lost the mark um, that Freya gave us. So yeah, I'm guessing that will return pretty soon. Well, especially since Modi just found us really easily. Which is probably because the, uh, the mark is gone. But let's keep heading up. Okay. What the hell? Okay. So Atreus just did that all on his own. Atreus is fighting differently. This used to be a challenge. Yeah, because yeah, they don't really throw the the most dangerous enemies at us either, so that's that's fine. So this leads us into the mines, if I recall correctly. Opening up. But the elevator is completely sh shit faced, oh, yeah. I think. This room. But we need a new way up. Whatever. <laughs> Did he just... wait, what? Oh, Atreus is not listening to me anymore. Oh, what the hell? Atreus? Yeah, Atreus is not listening anymore. And then just take care of things for myself then. See, because he keeps doing the walls without me try telling him to. Okay. This is um, more than a nuisance now. Is he even switching AO dice without me asking him? Have you forgotten your training? Oh. Are you talking to me? I thought you didn't like my tongue. Oh god, this is getting really annoying. He's just not listening to his father anymore. Um, yeah, let's take a look around, because... Aha! Uh -huh. This is new. But... Well, you know, I'm gonna suppose that there is nothing else here for us, so... Let's just get through uh, all the hell bramble. Ah, this is an elevator. Okay, there we go. Ooh, and it's a slow elevator. Although this area is a bit too small to fight on, I would think. I can't learn if you won't teach me. You do not heed my lessons. I've done everything you asked. And all I wanted was the truth. Where did you get your fire plants? Why did you hide them? You said there are consequences to killing a god. You used the blades to kill one. Not just one. Who else did you kill? Before Magnus? How many? Do you hear me? I heard you. And these are not subjects for discussion. Do not push me, boy. Fine. He's gonna keep Come acting here. like that until Guess you what? tell him. I know everything I need to know now. I have nothing else to learn. Ah, oh, congratulations. Yeah, this is getting really, really awkward. It's a, a weird type of rock we're passing by, but okay. I just flick it out of existence. Whoa! This will be easy. Stop! Yeah, he's not listening anymore. Come on, shoot him. Okay, he is listening now, and he stopped listening again. And there we go, buried in the face, aha. 
boom. Whatever. Whatever. Is that gonna be his, his answer to everything? Whatever. I'm an angsty teen and I say whatever. Okay, this is definitely a new area, so maybe we'll find a few things that are handy to us. A few things to open. And whatever this is supposed to be. Hides another uh, Winds of Hell thing. Okay. Doesn't seem to be filled. Oh, I can pick that up. Ooh. The be warned. The tunnels I'm seeing in the walls up here show signs of recent dragon activity. We already killed that dragon. Ah, oh, did you then? Well, yeah, we did. How'd that go? Well, fine. It's an explosive I can it. Can Atreus actually do my guess? Yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye. So, there's an explosive above us. We can clearly just keep going. And that's another treasure map, because we still didn't get a trophy to complete all treasure maps yet, so there's gonna be another one. Oh, he didn't even say anything. He just sighed. The Valkyries will hunt me until my last breath. If they seek what is mine, I shall hide it right under their nose. Seems clear enough. Seems to be at the, uh, the Council of Valkyries. Um, what else is here? Because there's clearly a puzzle of some sort here. What does this say? It says, don't wake him. Whatever. We've killed everything else in this mountain. Who else wants a taste? Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, this, does, this guy doesn't seem that tough. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah, he got me. And uh, in the face. And let's ride this bad boy. And a new dental appointment. There we go. No, no. Stop. 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 No, there was still one alive. There we go. Whee! God, I love the combat in this game. It's really, really cool. Okay, so this is the gate we need to open up. So, I place it right next to the chain and that should be enough, I think. There we go. Open that up and that reveals another chest. And there we go. Another runic attack. A heavy runic attack. A Hyperion slam. A massive slam attack that causes destructive explosions. And there we go. Ah, uh, doesn't really look like it. I like mine a bit better. The Tartarus Rage is cooler. So that means we can continue along the path through the mountain. Just climb down here. And then we need to, yeah, just keep going up. So I'll, uh, I'll let you know when I've... When we encounter something interesting. I did slow down there for a second. You know what? I am going to take a little break because uh, we're getting close to... Yeah, this is going to be half an hour of an episode. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And when we get back, we'll be uh, again heading up the mountain. So thank you guys enormously for watching. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode of God of War. Goodbye. <laughs>